Welcome back to this new tutorial. Here, you will learn what is the use of isError function in Excel. First, I will explain the basic use of isError, and then explain the isError function combined with if function for the more practical use case. Here I have three tables. These two tables contains the sales quantity information of different products. My requirement is to fill this third table with the sales quantities, which I will do by using VLOOKUP. If you notice the product list of third table, some products are from table one and some from table two. After using VLOOKUP here, I will get not available error in the sales quantity of few products. To handle this type of data situation, we can combine is error function with if function. First, let's use here VLOOKUP to get the details of sales quantities. If you are new to this VLOOKUP function, I recommend you to watch this function tutorial separately from the link provided in video description below. As I mentioned earlier, here I got not available error for sales quantities of few products. This happened because the VLOOKUP was not able to find these products here in table one. First, let's understand what does is error function do? Here you have Excel's formula syntax and description of is error function. Is error function checks whether a value is an error and returns true or false. Beside these sales quantities, let me use the is error function. Press equals, type is error, open parentheses. In the value parameter, click on the result of VLOOKUP function. Close parentheses and hit enter. Drag the formula down for other cells. Here you see, when there is error value, it has displayed true, and if the value is not an error, it has displayed false. Let's see what does if function do in Excel. Here, the formula syntax and description of if function is given. If function checks whether condition is met and returns one value if true and another value if false. In the logical test, we will use the isError function. IsError function will return either true or false. In case of true result, we will use VLOOKUP in table one and in case of false result, we will use VLOOKUP in the table two. Let me clear the formula from here and use a combination of if, is error, and VLOOKUP. Press is equal to, type if, open parentheses. In the logical test parameter of if function, combine the is error function. In the value parameter of is error, look for the result in table one by using VLOOKUP. After writing the VLOOKUP function, type equals true. Here, if function will check whether the sales quantity for heater is not available in table one. Now put a comma. In the value if true parameter of if function, we have to check for the result in second table. So, use here VLOOKUP function by taking second table in the table array. Now, put a comma. In the value if false, or, in another words, if the result of logical test is not an error, we have to get result from the table one. So, here use the VLOOKUP again by taking table one in the table array. This you can simply copy and paste from the logical test parameter where we have already written the formula. Let's copy and paste it. Close the parentheses for if function. Then press enter. Drag the formula down for other cells. Here you see, all product sales quantities have been filled. So, this is how we can use the isError function combined with other functions in Microsoft Excel. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing this channel if you are new here and turn the notification on to never miss the new video updates in this channel. If you want to practice this, download the workbook file from the video description. See you in next video tutorial.